The European Parliament and the world has seen Ukrainians heroically defending their country, their liberty, their homes, their families. But the Ukrainian people are also risking their lives for Europe to safeguard the values that we all believe in, freedom, democracy, the rule of law. There is no one more deserving of this prize. Well, I'm joined now in the studio by France 24's Catherine Nicholson, our Europe Affairs editor, of course. Catherine, tell us a bit more about this prize and why it has been awarded to the Ukrainian people. Absolutely. Well, just starting off with the prize, this has been awarded since 1988 annually in uh, the European Union. Uh, it's named in honour of the Soviet physicist and later Soviet dissident Andrei Sakharov. And the prize money from this award is €50,000. But its symbolic value is perhaps worth even more than that actual prize money. Uh, some of the past winners include, for example, South African President Nelson Mandela, uh, the Pakistani education activist Malala Yousafzai, uh, Belarus's democratic opposition and last year the Russian uh, opposition activist and anti-corruption activist Alexei Navalny. So why the people of Ukraine? Well, of course, uh, Ukraine has been such a, a dominant issue in Europe uh, since, of course, the Russian invasion on February 24th. Uh, and the president of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola, who we just heard there, uh, she said it herself. She said, uh, Ukrainians are risking their lives for Europe and for values that we all believe in, freedom, democracy, rule of law. Uh, and she said, I know that the brave people of Ukraine will not give up and neither will we. Now, uh, the different political groups within the European Parliament and individual uh, groups of just MEPs can nominate uh, different people uh, for this award. Um, but the four biggest groups in the European Parliament all nominated uh, in various different wordings the people of Ukraine. Uh, and uh, it's actually been awarded to the people of Ukraine, highlighting the President Zelensky, uh, civil society representatives, uh, medical evacuation teams, human rights lawyers, uh, civil liberties organizations. Organizations. Um, so really quite a broad spread of uh, Europe, um, Ukrainian society recognised with this award. So it's, it's a big statement from the European Parliament choosing the Ukrainian people. Mm. How does it actually, in concrete terms, how will it affect them? Absolutely, because of course we could say it's an award, it's relatively symbolic perhaps, and this 50,000 euro prize, you know, I mean, in terms of what's happening in Ukraine, that's a very small amount of money. But this is another signal of support for Ukraine from a very important and prominent EU institution. Uh, and Roberta Metzola said that uh, not only was this uh, nomination from four big political groups, but it was also a consensus decision among uh, the people making this decision at the European Parliament. So along Alongside the concrete help of weapons, financial aid, humanitarian aid, sanctions, political support is also seen as very important. Ukraine applied for EU membership earlier this year. It's not going to get that anytime soon. But in the meantime, Ursula von der Leyen, Roberta Metzola, other big European names keep telling us they want to give Ukraine a European perspective, lots of ties with the European Union. They know there's strong pro-European sentiment in Ukraine at this point. They want to make maintain that. Uh, and this is another one of those signals. Thanks very much from Catherine Nicholson, our Europe Affairs Editor.